This is the Jeff Orbit Show. All right, welcome. Busy show, busy week. New background right over my shoulder there. There's some gas cans. I'll get yeah. to that here in just a little bit. Angela joins me this hour. Bob Thorpe, former state rep, next hour. Olivia, next hour as well. So stick around for all that. But I was, I did some, I probably spent a little bit too much time on YouTube over the weekend, which sounds kind of weird and like Yeah, you never nerdy, do that. Because I never do that. I don't. I just abhor social media. I can't stand so. And and we sometimes I don't look at things like YouTube as social media, but that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Although there's a lot of content there. I mean, I started off looking up how to fix my truck, which I'm still waiting for another part because one of them was was wrong. But I'm going to get there. But then it progressed into how do we get more views on our videos to try to get our message out there, right? Mm -hmm. And get Mm -hmm. all the information we put out there. And I've always had trouble getting those tons of video clicks. I mean, we do okay. But this weekend, there was thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of views. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. You you were convinced it's because the one video (laughs) was that you were wearing a hat. It, I think and I don't I, think that I think matters. I think YouTube has some kind of weird weird algorithm <laughs> because that hat video you know really went up. But I just I've never been to figure out, figure out why certain videos hit. And if yeah. you watch YouTube, there's just quite honestly, well, this one probably won't hit because about what I'm about to say. There's just a lot of there's a lot of good stuff on there. There's a lot of crap too. And the right. shorts. Well, everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah that's, that's no big given. secret. Yeah. The shorts are like. Uh, these 60 second or less videos. So did a couple, took a couple of those from the show and they just really exploded. Mm -hmm. But I started watching the shorts. So you just kind of scroll through on those kind of like you were on Facebook or Twitter and please stop saying, or X it's called X yeah, formerly known that, as Twitter. Yeah. Please, please stop. It's just, just call it Twitter. Just or call X. It Twitter. I just I call it Twitter. It's, changed it. it's still Twitter to me, but it's kind of an addictive nature on these apps and the social media where you're just scrolling. It's, yeah. it's very similar to the endorphins that you get when you're playing like uh, like casino and the, the, the wheels uh-huh. are spinning and you put more money into the machine. Well, you just it's don't a, realize how much time that, that yeah. it just sucks up so much time before you know it. You're like, oh, man, I've been sitting there for 20 minutes and it felt like five. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out what's the rhyme or reason here. And... I, I, I never really doubt the videos just got thousands no, and thousands hat. of hits. Because, <laughs> well, one yeah. of them didn't have the hat. <laughs> but I will say this. Every fourth video is a very, very good looking girl in either very tight clothes or a thong or some sort of bikini, right? Yeah. Doing something. Revealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I clothing. mean, that's and, and mostly young, right? And they're, they're, they're shooting a gun. They're playing a guitar. They're doing a flip. They're, it's, it's every quarter of them. And so I'm like scrolling through and I'm like, what? Okay, I'm going and and it's like, well, wait a second. Then there's a video like on some of my interests, and then there's a video on I didn't see anything on car repair because that's what I use YouTube for the most is like mm-hmm. looking up how do I do this tile job or this car job or whatever. So None of no that rhyme came or up. Reason for no, what I couldn't find any. You sh- see, and which ones you don't? Yeah, because I I I'm being honest here, and you can look through my search history. I'm not looking up girl in bikini playing guitar, <laughs> so it doesn't have. You know, sometimes you you know it, when you look up something, all of a sudden it's on everything. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you're shopping for this, and it's like, well, how did you even know that? Right. So right. it just it to me, it's just that's how they're getting the, the views because. I it's guess that's what people want to see. I don't no know. I guess who it is. Yeah, I guess that's what people want to see. And and unfortunately, and when you get material, like I think we put good material out there, that's hard to convey in sixty seconds. Because I've tried. I've yeah, edited yeah. those videos. Oh down. yeah. How can you do anything in that <sighs> short amount of time unless it's the girl playing a guitar or doing yeah. a flip or? I mean, you know, whatever. maybe I just turn it over to you and just sixty second <laughs> updates. <laughs> no, so it's just so I, I I'm doing my best to get those videos out. I do appreciate all the people that did click on it, lots mm-hmm. of likes and things like that. Mm-hmm. So th- that is encouraging, but I still can't compete against the girl riding a bike, playing a guitar, singing, you know, a Guns N' Roses yeah. song <laughs> for 30 <laughs> seconds. That's, I guess, I guess. I don't know if anyone can. No, you with can't that. compete against I mean, that. Dang. Old, yeah. So, but anyway, it's, there's a lot of fake stuff out there too. And that's the problem we have nowadays. Oh yeah. You were showing me stuff from like, is supposedly Ukrainian fighters, fighter jets, uh, yeah. you know, shooting down I'm like out, taking I'm down just, russian stuff and and you're like oh yeah that's fake yeah well i kept seeing them right and i was like wow this is really clear shot i mean how did they not 
you know, shoot the cameraman yeah. basically. <laughs> and it's, I'm looking at it on my little iPhone. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and not even the, um, long way, you know, the wide way, yeah. the, just the, 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 the tall way. Right. And I'm like, wow, the, the Russians have lost a lot of planes, <laughs> you know, and, and look at this. And why is this plane coming back? He's getting shot the heck and then, and then boom, blows up another. And then you finally find out they're all simulations. Uh, so my guess is that's how warfare is now. It's the, it's the propaganda out there that this is the yeah, way it's going. It's amazing and, to me yeah. that someone has the time and the interest to do oh, stuff like that and put it all out. This wasn't, this wasn't some kid putting out these videos. Exactly. This, there's an arm yeah. of probably Ukraine or whoever's doing, doing this, it. some yeah. outside group. That's like, because if you just see him a few times, so scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through girl in bikini. Um, then there's maybe something from Glenn Beck. Then there's something on, um, you, you know, in the mountains, another girl in a bikini, then Ukraine, you know, and mm-hmm. it just keeps going like that. And that's just that. That's what I saw. I mean, that's, so you don't know what's real. Then another thing I, on Twitter or X, it's X formerly known as Twitter. It's funny. Anyone who talks about it is like Twitter or X or X. And then it's X or Twitter. It's like, no one knows what to call yeah, it. We don't anymore. know what this is stupid to do a name change <laughs> uh, unless you like declare bankruptcy or something. But I don't think Elon Musk did that. But they had this, there was this video and I sent it to you and it was this mom that came into oh, the yeah. school yeah. and was, she ripped down the LGBT flag, which was over the- It was covering up the United, the United States, States of America, America flag or and, the, the map. And they're going on and on, right? And this, uh, the kid, her son supposedly is in the, um, the classroom. He's like, he's like, don't talk to my mom like that teacher's because they're the going back and forth. Going, yeah. Totally fake. I figured it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling it was when you sent it, it to me. It was actors. Yeah. Also known I as mean, fake. Yeah, you, you just wonder if it's real or not. Because, like, there's snippets of it that feel like it's, like, they're yeah, not may, authentic. Yeah. yeah. But you can't tell. It, it was hard to tell. I, I didn't know. So I sent that to you. I, I generally do not go forward with anything on this show until I have time. I got to dig and say, who, who created this video? But I was close. I mean, I was starting to go down the road, and I was like, oh, no, it's a fake. And that happens to me more and more lately. But I got to tell you, we're getting to a time where it's going to be hard for me to tell. Mm-hmm. And I could be passing on something to you like that. Oh, I just saw this video. And it, unless I go hunt the person down in Indianapolis or wherever the heck it yeah. is, or, you know, Ukraine, how do you know? How do you know anymore? So it's just, here, here's what I say. Any video you see out there, anything, except for my videos, if I tell <laughs> you to see them in exact title, you got you to gotta assume it's, it's fake or... Jaded well, yeah, you way. and I know that. The problem is they're trying to appeal to a really wide audience, and yeah. a lot of that audience is the younger generations, oh, and man. they don't know. Are they, they more don't gullible? Care, probably. <laughs> it's, I just, mean, it's just entertainment. Yeah, they just sit there, and that's what their entertainment is. <laughs> and our, my daughter, Isabel, is just trying to, she does all scheduling for the show and all that stuff behind the scenes now, and um, she was just trying to call me, but she showed us this video. You know, she, she, she's that generation that yeah. she's shown us this video of, just the most ridiculous <laughs> things. And you're like, birds aren't real. Yeah. This whole 20 minute yeah. episode on birds aren't real. Yeah. And, you know, and I was like, are these people for, and there was actually someone in Flagstaff yeah. on it. Birds are all robots, you know, they were yeah. replaced. And then at the end they say, this is totally fake yeah. kind of thing. But how many people just watch 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and they right. actually believe this stuff. So and I, then I, they go around saying, Hey, do you hear you this know? theory that birds are really, you know, drones <laughs> and they're not real? And hey. then they, they spread the rumors. Hey, I, well, the, the, we got some, um, geese, goose, um, uh, sausage, sausage. uh, f- from, from the folks that sell the, uh, um, this is, you use it on your Jack. It's called the, the BJ, um, b- bottle Jack buddy. Right. Mm-hmm. And you use it on that Jack and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, but he gave me some goose sausage. So I yeah. know birds are real <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because, um, well, you, yeah, uh, I, we, I've, we've I, all, I just had some dove recently. Yeah, we've so. shot them and yeah. eaten them. So, and that's Tim. Real. Thank you, Tim, for that. And thank you for the hat. And we'll, we'll check yeah. out that product soon. I know you really showed it to me. Guy. It looks, yeah. looks yeah. cool. Yeah. So anyway, um, I was, what I was looking on YouTube though, and I did see Trump on Megyn Kelly. Yeah, and she I interviewed heard him over some, the weekend. You know, bits and pieces of that. I didn't hear the whole thing. Though. Yeah, I, I would just watch the some of it, and then uh, you know, one of the big things that's making around is uh, Kelly asks Trump uh, the stance on on abortion, and he basically he thinks that uh, someone like DeSantis is too far with the. I think DeSantis has a six week uh-huh. ban, and uh-huh. um, so not exactly the answer that a lot of conservatives want to hear. But the other big one was the question about can a woman, can a man become a woman? And he's kind of shaking his head. No, but he's just like really dragging it out for like a minute, like Mm -hmm. the answer. And it's just like, how is this just not a straight up? 
No. Yeah. Just no. Next question. That's just no. It, it can't. It can't happen. They can pretend to be a woman. Right. But they're not going to become. They can delude themselves. And he, and he yeah. went into like, okay, is, you know, well, you know, they're born. It's the pregnant. It's the it's the pregnancy thing. Can they get yeah. pregnant? And just, but you never know. Maybe before you know it, men will be carrying babies. Kind of talk like. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's just it. It wasn't the answer that I think. And maybe he's trying to appeal to those swing voters that he needs to get. Well, probably because he does need to. He does, but get those voters. But then you lose the conservatives when you come out because this is a big issue for yeah a, exactly. a lot of conservatives out there, which is you know this whole battle against. I mean, humanity, I might in think my it's opinion. it's almost top of the list, probably behind spending or or something. Yeah, but but in the top like few. I think is this transgender nonsense, this madness yeah. that's going on. All the guys pretending to be women out there. The yeah. And it, and it, mostly when it's mostly going that way. Mostly. Right. Going that and, way. and just the whole, that whole culture of the sports in the schools, in the locker rooms and, you know, and it's just, it's permeating everywhere. And so it is a big issue yeah. whether he wants to admit it or not. And, you know, the same thing happened with one of those forums that was held in Iowa couple months back and they asked someone which trump wasn't remember that who one, it was think, yeah and the guy was basically like are you kidding me no no one cares about this and and <laughs> you know, that was kind of his response and it's like they were failing to recognize one of the how, republicans yeah one of the yeah. people they asked yeah. about something about the transgender i can't remember now what it was you don't remember which candidate it was no, That'd I'd have to look into it. Yeah. I just know there was one of them that was like, oh, are we going to get into the really, you know, important questions and kind of blew well, it off. I mean, there's a, other very important questions, but this is one right, that's like impacting our kids. They're failing to that recognize, recognize that. Big, that. Yeah. You know, it is a big issue yeah. for a so, lot, especially conservatives. You can watch that video. I mean, it's up there. It's up there. And, yeah. and watch my videos too. I'd, I, I really appreciate all the, you know, views we got this past weekend. Everyone that watches the podcast, uh, just look up or find Orvitz on any of the video providers, uh, Rumble, YouTube, or on your favorite um, podcast provider, uh, you'll be able to find me there. And like I said, I do appreciate everyone who does that. Okay, uh, let's come back with, let's talk about something that me and Angela did for the first time in 25 years <laughs> in the vehicle. Come on, people. <laughs> come on, people. Don't think like that. Uh, plus, I want to get into, we, we also took the vehicle out this morning and, and um, we went shopping. And I was, I'm always shocked when we do this. I, I'm doing it more and more with Angela, like I try to maybe every couple of weeks go with her. He and, doesn't um, like going with me, though. Yeah, no, she's so picky. <laughs> and the prices are absurd, though. I want to get into what a newspaper thinks is causing the high rent in Arizona. And, of course, they've got it all backwards. Talk with Jeff at iCloud.com. Get your comments and love hearing from you. Talk with Jeff at iCloud.com. Oh, we went shopping at a place, like a secondhand place. Um, I'll tell you who it is because I hear them, their ads all the time on stations of the Barn Bros, right? Yeah. And we were going around, and the only reason that I stopped there, well, oh, my son Owen had his black belt test this weekend, but this is for like his second stripe of his, yeah, or his kinda, first stripe of it's his. It's kind of like a, yeah, in between next yeah. level of black belt. It's yeah. kind of like a progression You're test. You're going from first yeah. belt to second belt eventually, and so yeah. he's moving up to that. So we spent Saturday morning. Um, doing that, and he's he's doing a great job. Self defense is so important, and yeah, the and discipline. congrats to the other um, boys and girls who got <clears throat> a black belt this weekend. That was awesome. I think there was five. I want to say. Well, yeah, and his instructor, who's now a master, Master yeah. Dylan, is fourth degree uh, black belt. He had to stick around for a long time yeah. to do something like yeah. that. But anyway, we're we're on our way there, and um, we're going down the road, and I see um, it was the Barn Bros, which is like a secondhand store. And estate sales, things uh-huh. like that. And he got, ga- he got a gas can out there. And I got yeah. it right here. Yeah, I we're driving by. He's like, oh, there's a gas can. We got to go. So we got to stop. There might be it. gas in here. <laughs> so I was just like, I saw this from the road. I'm like radar. Yeah. You know, there, there's, there's a, this is an old school gas can that has the uh, vent there. 
you know, where you so open this up, that lets in. the air in. I mean, yeah. just for all you youngsters out there, this 20 years ago, this is how we used to pour gas for this like is basic years. physics this and basic just physics laws of here. nature is yeah. you need air. So then, you open okay. this up and the air comes in and the politicians don't understand this. That's how dumb they've become. I know I've talked about gas cans a lot. We can't fix America till we fix the gas can. <laughs> we just can't. And they should all do a debate showing us how they pour gas out of the government gas can. I should have brought one of those down here. And then it has this thing. It's just a nozzle, right? Mm -hmm. And this has no obstructions and it. it goes straight down into the can. So air comes out, liquid comes out. You pour it. Oh, air, liquid comes out, air goes in air to goes fill in. the okay. space that the liquid okay. wants occupied. Sorry. I, sorry, I don't have the degree that you have, you know, explaining this, but I know what it the does. The air goes in. That's why you need the yeah, air. Yeah, the air goes in. Okay. That's what yeah. I said. You said the air goes out. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you pour the gas. You can pour up this whole thing. This is a gallon and a, and a half in a, a matter of a you know, minute or two. Mm -hmm. Just zips out. New government can takes forever, right? So I see that thing. I'm like, oh, you know, yeah. I'm going to go in and buy that. And um, we bought those. And I, I think people should start probably scrounging these types of things more often. Yeah, they had others often. too. I mean, these are busy places. Ones, but yeah. Because it's so expensive yeah. out there. And um, I got two of these. And I think we got a whole basket of tools and stuff. It was like 12 bucks. Yeah. I would have paid 12 bucks for these two gas cans easily because the new one of these is, I think, 25. That, that sucks. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was good. It was a good day. We yeah. got to uh, get that gas can. But the prices are so high. So we went out shopping this morning. And uh, I don't know if this is like a new thing, but it's like the half loaf. Oh, <laughs> no, that's the wrong one yeah. there. Got the video. It's like a half loaf of bread. Yeah, I've never I, seen that I before, so. but it makes sense if you live alone or if you just don't eat bread very often, I can get, I could get behind that. You think it's that, or do you think it's like a discounted thing? Like, you know, you can offer something a little less. I like, really think I that they the make price. the big loaves and someone who lives alone, like I said, or you just don't eat bread very often. It's too much. I think it's a sign of the economic times. We're close to individual slices being sold. <laughs> You're going to show up and it's going to be like, well, how many can you afford today? <laughs> yeah. How many slices of the bread? Two slices of bread. Yeah. But I mean, I notice one thing I'm noticing is the uh, shrinkflation that's going on. Yes. And that that's things big. are getting a lot smaller. I, I have a, you know, California roll, a picture of it on, on the screen right now. I mean, that thing is tiny. And, yeah, it, and it was even expensive. Fill the whole, like, it seems like they used to be pretty like it would take up the full, a whole they container. They haven't changed the containers yet, right. but they're putting less but in. But they put less in there. Either they're having a bad day or what I suspect is the input costs are so much no, that they're, they're the shrinking scenes, them they're down. No, behind the scenes, they're telling the person that makes those. Make like, it smaller. Make it smaller, yeah. put a little less of this, yeah. of every, everything right. in there. Exactly. So anyway, um, I just, I'm noticing that more and more the sales are going away. You have to really scrape to, and that's a good tip for you out there. I mean, just these apps, right? You got yeah. the discount I, apps that you, you can know, get. I check on. Coupon apps. On the. You know, if it's the store, like a grocery store, yeah, I check their weekly ads, and sometimes they have digital coupons. And if you can get stuff on sale and and on a coupon, it's it's not yeah, bad. It's not, it's not a bad. It's deal. just the regular price. If you need something that's not on sale, you're like, wow, no way, four percent inflation though, or whatever yeah, they're saying. I, I mean, there, there's no way that's well, that's and, happening. And some stores are like double what another store will charge. Yeah, for we went to a, we went to a grocery only. I won't name which one, but a yeah. grocery only yeah. store. And sometimes she'll go to the, the Walmart. Yeah, I go to Walmart know, because it's they, the closest and it's, to our house. It's they definitely get people on price uh, yeah. in a, in a big mean, way. I mean, the same thing was like double yeah. at, at the. So anyway, yeah, point. shrinking out there, shrinkflation going on while um, while the prices actually go up. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to go to these. I'm trying to you know we we scrape the you know the, the money just like everybody. So we're trying to go. And if I'm going to be start going to these secondhand stores a lot more, our kids are good about that because you can get a lot of good stuff. And sometimes mm -hmm. the quality is, is better if you can find some of the old stuff as, yeah. if it's still functional. Yeah. So yeah, Barn Bros got these gas cans and I haven't filled them yet. In fairness, I haven't no, filled them yet. <laughs> so we'll report back on that. Okay. Love your uh, comments. Say, get those in right now. Olivia will be by in hour two of the show. And uh, we'll start going through your, some of your comments. Uh, former state representative Bob Thorpe is going to join us as well. So stick around for that. This is the Jeff Orbit Show. So an Arizona newspaper, I was reading this just this morning. Uh, I'll just give it to you and just kind of paraphrase the whole, the whole thing. But it was asking, why are rents, 
here, basically it was proclaiming here's why rents are so high and here's, evictions and, and evictions are so high in the state of Arizona. As you know, we have a. They, we, I hate to use the word crisis all the time because everything seems to be a crisis nowadays, mm-hmm. but we have a lot of people that are having trouble affording housing in certain areas of the state for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's gone up tremendously in Flagstaff. It's gone up in the Verde Valley. It's gone up in Sedona. It's gone up in Prescott area. It's definitely right. gone up in Phoenix. And you know, there's places that have gone up this year in the past couple of years, five, six, 700 bucks easily. So there's definitely an issue out there, but the way that this person in this big statewide newspaper uh, painted it, you know, was that basically it's these companies and these individuals coming in and they're buying these places up and then they're just jacking up the rent. And that's, mm-hmm. that's basically the only explanation is, oh, that's, that's why, that's why rent's going up mm-hmm. in, in just to, right. to sum it up in a short way. Just that's because just, they want to, they just want to yeah. have um, the person who owns it. It's not because they have to pay more in other, you know, insurance and taxes and, no. and all these other things. It's not because they just want to charge more and that's, that's and, why they, and they want to charge more. And to that, I, I say, well, every business wants to charge more right? or wants to make more profit. I, I, I guess not every business, but generally speaking, you're right. in business to make money. You're in your business to provide a good product and you hope to get properly compensated for that. And mm-hmm. you're like, well, great. I can charge a little bit more because I'm providing a better service than my competitor. Mm-hmm. I want to, I can charge a little bit more because the market's tight right now. And that's what's going on here in, in Arizona. There's just, there's a big demand because you, here's a couple reasons. And they did get this right as far as the number of people moving in to the state. So there's a supply. They did acknowledge without saying it was supply and demand, but just saying that, oh, there's not enough, there's not enough homes. So that's mm-hmm. their way of saying, hey, supply and demand, more people, less available stock yeah. of, of housing. They also acknowledge that there is higher interest rates. So people coming in buying a new one are paying higher interest rates. But then at the same time, they were like, oh, the high interest rates are finally pushing some of those people out and the prices are starting to come down a little bit. So yeah, there's interest rates, that factor. But one thing they failed to recognize and even mention why prices have gone up so much is because of the government. And they just, not even a, a hinting of that in this, this, it wasn't even an op-ed. It was just a, like a matter of fact, you know, newspaper article. A lot of these right. things seem like they're, you know, they're, they're, they're news-based, but it's just somebody's opinion. Yeah. And I don't well, think it has a lot of wonder, experience. Did that person, the reporter ever talk to any landlord or, you know, and ask I why didn't see one quoted any in property there. owner, why, why have you raised your rates or whatever the person's talking about. Yeah. I didn't see know. There was nothing in the, yeah. I read the so article from start to finish. Do they really nothing. do their research? No. I mean, I don't think they know, do. And it's, yeah. That's, they that's just write the what they think. Yeah. So, and, and they failed the, one of the biggest reasons that you're seeing such increase in prices is the government. It's all the money that was floating around for the past few years, the cheap money. I mean, it's not as cheap anymore, but we're mm-hmm. still feeling the squeeze from that, from the, the, the two and a half, three percent, three and a half percent interest. And so everything started inflating because you threw $10 trillion into this thing. So people had to put money. I know this is hard for some people to get. And I'm, I, I wish that everybody was in the position where they had to move money around and put money somewhere. Um, but I recognize that we're in a society that uh, sadly 60% are living paycheck to paycheck. But there's still many hundreds of thousands of people out there, millions of people that have excess capital meaning they have right. excess money in the bank or in their stock portfolios or whatever, or they sold a property in California yeah, they for sold 5 out of California million and they bought something here for half the they cost. They bought five things here. Yeah. You know, or, or they bought one thing and they have a couple mil sitting in the bank or whatever, and they got to try and find something to do with. Yeah. yeah. And you also got these big uh, hedge funds and other investment funds that took advantage of the very cheap uh, window of, of borrowing opportunity and they're going to grab money at 2 3%. They did grab money at mm-hmm. 2 3%, sometimes less. And then they have to do something with that. They don't just put it in the bank and, right. and, and lose money. No, they 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 put it into assets. And you, so you you combine all that a lot of money are chasing all these assets all over the place and people have been parking. I've seen it in our neighborhood. People are literally parking money in homes. Mm -hmm. They call it a second home, but in their mind, you know, they go there once, twice a week. They're like, yeah, I got $2 million sitting here. 
and just pop a million and a half to park it in that house, buy the real estate and let it sit on it. It's going to do better than inflation. It's going to do better than stocks, whatever, whatever. So that's what's ha- They totally failed to recognize that that's what, that's what's going on. There's a lot yeah. of, there's a lot of money chasing only a f- uh, select few assets. And, and that's, that's why driven you see the, price the cash up. offers and you know, the day it's listed, yeah. the, uh, it's got a contract that day. That's yeah. why you see that. Yeah. It could be someone selling out from another place that has a lot of profit has, has done really well in that market. It could also be, and we've seen these big hedge funds, they've bought up real estate to hold mm-hmm. and, and, or to rent out. And that's, they're making money that way. Now it could all change. You got high interest rates. They could keep jacking the rates up. The money's definitely drying up, but there's still a lot of out, a lot of it out there. Mm-hmm. Remember we're only 18, what, 18 months or so from the money juicing that happened 24 months ago. This wasn't mm-hmm. that long ago right, that yeah. the COVID hysterics with the money was juicing up the economy. It's still filtering through. So this person totally, you know, they totally fell to reckons. Their solution is, it's always, and they didn't say it in this particular article I read, but in the past, and even the legislature here, the Republican-controlled legislature, have, fa- have fallen into the trap of, we've got to do something about the affordable housing price crisis. Yeah. And yeah. to that, I would say, you don't have to do anything. You've done enough. Please stop <laughs> yeah, doing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's, you're just going to, you're going to break this thing even more. So don't help at all. And then they start coming up with free money for renters. They can start, their solution is let's give more money. Let's throw more money at the problem. That's not the problem. The problem is we got to unwind the government being involved in all this stuff, involved in the banking even and all of that and the interest rates. Yeah, and all the the regulations. Phony interest rates, regulations. they do. Yeah, exactly. It shouldn't cost me $1,500 to replace a water heater. You got your local regulations that are driving up the costs uh, to run all this stuff. And then they wonder why the rents get raised. Well, because it costs triple what it used to cost yeah, yeah. for a new water heater. I can't charge more than something will bear. Right, right. If the market's demanding that rents are going going to go up, I'm going to start raising rents to do that market, uh, to, to get to the market. Also, I'm just a fool at that point. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't raise it as much as some. Maybe I'm like, okay, I, I can raise this 500. You know, I want to renew your lease. You've been a good tenant. I got to keep up with where the market is. Let's do 300. Mm-hmm. Let's, I mean, there's a lot of, we've done that. And yeah. there's a lot of landlords have done, that have done. But I can't just come along and say, oh, now your rental is $500 more a month. Because you would look around pretty quick and say, no, that's not the case. You're the only one that's doing this. Yeah, right. I'm you moving. You wouldn't have a renter yeah. then. So it's insane that these people, but I think more and more society is buying into this, this, this myth that what, they, they, what they're saying, what, what a lot of people in our society are saying is capitalism has failed. No, it's this, it's, it's this crony capitalism, right. this top yeah. down stuff it's that's the meddling and it's the meddling. And yeah. I, I, and when I read articles like this and they don't even have someone in there to quote, right. and I, I forgot the title, I should get you that it, it was in the Republic. Okay. Um, they need to find somebody that actually has some basis in real economics, somebody on the ground, a landlord quote, somebody yeah. like that. Talk to somebody that understands how, how the economy actually works, not just Oh, they're just raising rent because yeah, <laughs> it's just or there's more become, evictions now. Why is there more evictions now than back then? What you know than two years ago? Say well because there was a moratorium for a while. Yeah, and then uh, there was a lot of assistance out there, and when that assistance dries up, yep, and the moratorium runs out, well then people don't if they don't pay their rent. What does a landlord? What what what's do you expect recourse? them to do? They have to kick them out eventually. Yeah, you can't. You just you can't. Provide housing for people with no compensation. Most landlords have a, have a mortgage and has, has yeah. all these fixed expenses. Yeah. So anyway, love your thoughts. Talk with Jeff at iCloud.com. Go ahead, get your comments in. And uh, please hit that subscribe button if you're listening to the podcast. Appreciate everyone who is doing that. Follow us on Rumble and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Okay, so we were we're at the secondhand store. Yeah, and, and you see and I, this. I say I see you know I see something that I haven't seen in a long time. So we buy it. You know, we get this whole basket of stuff, and we get back into the. We have a Tahoe, two thousand three Chevy Tahoe, and um, I'm like, okay, let's do something we haven't done in the vehicle for. <laughs> The 20, what, 20 years, 20 years that you've owned it. Yeah. Well, 20, 20 years, but probably even 25 years yeah. of marriage. Right. And I'm just like, okay, just get that thing out there and 
get out the old uh, Jimmy Buff and put it in, <laughs> right? And yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, where do I put this? How does this even work? I don't even, I don't even, uh, I don't even know what to do. I just stick this in here. Is it upside down? And I, I put it in, right? And it's like, it was great. We had yeah. a, we had a good time. It's it's it's, okay, it's yeah. a cassette. <laughs> I've talked about this on the show before. How much I love Jimmy Buffett. And, you know, we used to have XM radio years ago, and I I basically never changed the station. It was always on Margaritaville. Yeah, it was always Jimmy Buffett. I never changed it. And even now, if I listen to music, a lot of times it's Jimmy Buffett. No, and so we saw that tape, and I, we, I was like, man, I don't even know if our tape. <laughs> cassette player works in the can't Tahoe. believe we bought a cassette but it actually works after <laughs> they, 20 years they wanted a buck each for this thing uh, you know we got the whole basket of stuff with tools for at, at barn bros there for um like 12 bucks so we probably spent next to nothing for this and they yeah, had oh more yeah, was, never heard of most of them but yeah i can't believe we put this i can't this believe we works. still have a car oh, yeah. that has um a cassette <laughs> You know, most, yeah. most people don't have that. So I, I imagine that most people aren't going to buy up these cassettes anytime soon. But actually, I remember cassettes sounding worse. It actually sounded it pretty good. It didn't sound that bad. It had kind yeah. of a warm and sound. And it is an old tape, too. It is from 1978. Yeah, this thing is old. It's not even like a, you know. It doesn't even have the jacket recent. in there with, you know, <laughs> any of the, the material. It's just like a piece of paper with, with Jimmy. <laughs> and Jimmy Buffett, yeah, just passed away, what, like two weeks ago. Yeah. Something like that. A couple weeks ago. A couple yeah. weeks ago, yeah. So, yeah. I we, like it. First I'm time in the car. To it. Yeah. First time in the car for a long time. That yeah. Was, that was good. That was, yeah. It's like when we first got together, it was like, you know, had all those. You remember good all the room? Days. Remember all the room? Those things used to, <laughs> yeah. used to take up those, those cassettes and mm -hmm. you'd have to have whole cases of it. And you, like, you'd have, a, you'd have to have a back seat just for the cassettes. <laughs> 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 I so. had some good ones. Michael Jackson. Yep. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. Probably like Vanilla Whitney Ice. Houston. Vanilla Ice. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I do have uh, Bob Thorpe coming up next hour. We got a lot of ground to cover, including gets us some top news picks. I have Olivia with some of your comments. Uh, a show note, I, I am expecting, we were supposed to have him on last week, but that didn't quite work out. So, and he, he's been on the program so many times, expecting uh, Congressman Andy Biggs to join us. So always appreciate when we when we hear an update, and especially now it's really timely. They are arguing over the, the it, it's the discretionary spending that Congress is arguing over. So this is about let's call it a third of the pie. Two thirds of the government spending on the Fed side is all on cruise control. It's your Social Security, it's your Medicare, it's it's yeah, all those fixed changing. things that they cannot change without. Uh, they'd have to get two thirds of Congress to agree. That's never going to happen. So all those things are locked in and growing the national debt because interest is higher now. Uh, so they're getting less and less of a pie to argue over. And there's a looming government shutdown coming, which, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, if they don't pass this budget by the end of this month. So we'll, we'll get an update from Congressman Andy Biggs on this, but get this. Here's what they're arguing over. 1% cuts. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really? I mean, 1% off of what? The $6.7 trillion, you know, that's total budget, but all the inflated costs or expenditures that you have now, or you're talking about, we're going to get back to 2019 levels, which was no gem. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's what they're, they're actually arguing over is, is 1% in cuts. And there's holdouts. I don't know where, I, I can imagine I'll let him speak tomorrow, but Congressman Biggs is probably, you know, heck no. I know Eli Crane has been pretty staunch on this saying, no, we got to make massive Someone cuts, and we got to address our border. Something. Yeah, yeah they, and, I mean, even look, if it's one percent. Yeah, and let's let's fix the border too. Let's do some things. Yeah, maybe stop shoveling money over to Ukraine. All right, so stick around for that, and uh, I'd love your comments. Talk with Jeff at iCloud.com. Check out the videos up on YouTube. Uh, look up Jeff Orvitz and subscribe to that. Don't go anywhere. Hang tight. Back in just a few minutes.